Roman beakers are of two types, those with furnace-finished rims and those with cracked-off rims. This one has a furnace-finished rim. All beakers start with a small gather of glass. I use a small blowpipe. And the glass can be shaped at the marver, or it can be shaped with a block. Here the initial shape is that of an egg. If it were done on the marver, it would be cylindrical. In either case, the bubble is blown holding the blowpipe downward, and this has the effect of thinning the glass nearest the blowpipe. The bubble is elongated with a spin. The tip is rubbed on the marver to chill it and make it pointed. The bubble is blown larger and the neck begun. The glass is squeezed. The bubble is pulled outward. It's reheated. And the intention of the reheat is to re-soften the thin glass to enable me to blow the bubble larger while maintaining the thick spot on the bottom. The neck is further refined. It's made smaller in diameter. The shoulder is made longer and more tapered. This will allow it to break cleanly and easily. This beaker will be transferred to a punty. The blowpipe is held downward to elongate the bubble. It's spun to elongate it further, and the angle of the sides is set. This beaker has slightly conical sides. The shape of the sides is set, the bottom is reheated, the punty is slid in so that the glass at the tip of the rod will be soft when it's needed. The bottom is flattened, the sides are reinforced. The site where the punty will be attached is cooled gently with a soft blow of air. And after a flash, the vessel is transferred to the punty. The end is flattened, the end is blown on gently to chill it. It's touched to the center. And the tips of the pincers are held in the crevice or neck and tapped against the right arm of the bench. And the reheat begins. This is the beginning of the furnace finished rim. The hole is reheated and dilated to a diameter of about an inch or an inch and a half. It's reheated, opened, reheated, opened. The glass is relatively thin and cools quickly. We cut out most of the reheats just to make the process a little more quick. And finally, the vessel is given a brief flash in the furnace. The entire vessel is slightly softened. And the shape is refined with a little bit of shaping on the inside to create the rim flare. A little tap on the metal rod, the punty, breaks it free of the punty, the vessel can then be placed into the annealing oven for slow cooling.